Okay, hey guys, uh, I am coming back at you with a training update. We are two weeks out from the Leadville 100. Um, I'm somewhat recovered from my pneumothorax. I'm still having occasional upper left chest pain um, and haven't run a day since Leadville. So, <laughs> so I guess I don't know if it's a training update. And some things I've read say that it could take six to eight weeks for a punctured lung to heal. But we're not going to be waiting quite that long because I have promised my friend Matt that I'm going to go out and uh, pace him. For the last 55 miles of the TNOA 100 this Saturday. Um, so right now the plan is uh, to go to the rodeo Friday night and then Saturday get up and head up to Cleelum, Washington uh, to meet up with Matt's wife, see him at a couple of aid stations and then begin running with him at mile 45 at Miller Peak and go through the night with him. Now for those of you who don't know what the TNOA 100 is, um, it is a new race. Last year was the first year it was run and while there's been some course changes, uh, it is supposed to be a fairly tough, rugged mountain 100 miler. Uh, there's 30,000 feet of climbing and descent over the 100 miles and a 40 hour cutoff. Now last year only 51 people finished and 25 people DNF'd. And if you've been wondering, Mike, why does it seem like you're inside of a box? That's because I'm coming to you right now from a soundproof booth inside the urgent care that I think is used by occupational medicine to test hearing. Now, I'm not really feeling it, so I think I'm gonna step out, continue this outside. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, so this is going to be Matt's first attempt at 100 miles, and he's picked a pretty burly 100 to take on for his first 100. Um, now, I'm meeting him at mile 45 is the plan at Miller Peak, and the cutoff at mile 50 is 1.30 a.m. So I think he's going to be rolling into Miller Peak somewhere around nightfall. Since this is a pretty small race, things are probably going to be pretty spread out over the last 50 miles, and he's gonna appreciate having a pacer to go through the night with him to fight off mountain lions and boredom. Now, I haven't run since Leadville, but I'm guessing that after 50 miles of climbing mountains, Matt's not exactly gonna be sprinting through the woods. But I've already told him that if I'm feeling like dog shit, then he might have to Gary Robbins me. Um, yes, sir. Willie's, Willie's long gone. We didn't yes. actually run together at all. <laughs> so, We're guys, here. honest question. Are yeah. you guys significantly faster than Willie? I would say. But my hope is to go out there and do the last 55 miles with him and just have a great time. Otherwise, my plans for the next few months are to get trained up for the Orcus 100 uh, that's taking place in February. Um, and part of my training for that, I'm signing up for the Seattle Marathon, which is on December 1st, and then the Bridal Trails 50K in January. Um, the Orcas Island 100 is February 7th, and it's a pretty decent, uh, it's a pretty reasonably hard 100 miler. It has uh, 22,000 feet of gain and loss. It's a four loop course out on Orcas Island here, and uh, I've never done a loop 100 miler before, so I'm wondering how powerful the urge to quit's gonna be after the second lap when you're exhausted, you're back at your car, and you're thinking about running another 50 miles. On a side note though, I was able to talk to one of the race directors for the Orcas Island 100 and they agreed to let me send them 125 samples of chafees to put into the runner's bags, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I'd be so excited to see my product gain some traction and take off. Uh, now it's kind of funny actually because I make more uh, at my job in one hour that I make in several hours producing and selling chafees. So I'm not really sure what my goal is, um, I guess that maybe the romantic side of me.
thinks that it would be really cool if a product that I created and distributed gave someone some relief and enjoyment. I, I guess that's my goal with it. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I'll obviously be filming my adventure out at the TNOA 100 uh, this coming weekend, so I'll see you then. I just wanted to take a second and say thank you to all of the people who have taken the time to stop by my channel and watch my videos. Um, the whole reason I started doing this was because I've gotten so much enjoyment from watching running videos and following people's stories on YouTube um, that I thought maybe I could provide some content that other people would enjoy as well. Um, so I just want to say thanks for following me and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the journey.